Well, new at 10, COVID-19 cases are on the rise in McDonough County. The current state of the county has parents worried that the school district might have to return to all remote learning to mitigate the spread. Well, WGEM's Kara Biernat is live in Macomb with more. Kara. Mackenzie, I spoke with a parent today who says if the county continues to go in the direction it's going and cases continue to rise and schools are forced to close, he doesn't know what his family is going to do. And it's a similar situation for the emergency management director here in McDonough County, who says he's begging the public to take this virus seriously so schools can remain open. The need for in-person learning for one Macomb parent is crucial. Both kids, Sergio and Lucas, they need a special education. Parent Sergio Canabate has two students with special needs. Right now, one attends class in person four days a week and the other goes twice a week. He says the hybrid learning plan is already tough. We are not just taking care of the homework. We want our kids to learn. Canabate says each time he sees more positive COVID cases in the community, his concern over in-person learning grows. He says he's worried that COVID will cause the schools to go back to all remote. That will change everything, right? Because at least because of my job, I need to travel every week. So my wife will stay here with two kids with special education needs. Uh, so probably it's not the best option. It's not even an option. The concern is top of mind for McDonough County Emergency Management Director Edgar Rodriguez as well. When we have number of staff that either teachers or um, school nurses, the cooks and all the stuff, uh, they that affect their their operations over there at the school. So if they cannot provide meals to the kids, they have to shut down. Rodriguez says with recent daily case counts in the double digits, he is sounding the alarm. He says it's more important now than ever that people mask up and stay away from large crowds. If we don't do that, unfortunately, they're going to have to close. And that's what's going to be affected to us. Because I also had kids that I had to figure out where they're going to go on uh, a daily basis while I do my work here. A plea from parents so kids can continue getting the best education possible. Kids need to learn and they at least all the tools or resources are in the school with the teachers. Rodriguez says right now the concern with COVID-19 in the school district is not so much with the students, but with the staff. And today I reached out to several administrators in the school district for a comment, but they did not have time for an interview. Live in Macomb, Caribbean at WGEM News.